helicopters dropping food and weapons for bandits hmm. we've always said it that the people who are involved in this banditry are people in government because how can helicopters fly and drop food drop weapon without the knowledge of the government of the day it is very very much impossible even as much as we don't have enough uh, power over our airspace but at least we should know when an helicopter is hoving or moving around a particular place yes so definitely it is not something that is invisible it is something that the government really knows about and the state government should also know when an unknown helicopter is flying its state yes that is why you have security agents all around they should alert the government when helicopters are flying all over and sending stuffs to Boko Haram in the forest. Anyway, more details will come to you shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. So that you get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, right here it says that helicopters dropping weapons, food for bandits. Yes, area supply of arms, ammunition, and food to bandits is a major reason for the imposition of no-fly zone order on Zamfara State. It was learned on Wednesday. Besides, helicopters are also used to illegally transport gold minerals from the state. The federal government slammed the no-fly order on the state on Tuesday after the National Security Council meeting. It also banned all mining activities in the state until further notice, Nasarawa State Governor Abdullahi Suli described the decision as fantastic and long overdue, but Zamfara State Governor Belo Matawali rejected it, saying the Security Council does not seem to understand the nature of security problem in the state. He said it will not solve the security problem and that members of the Security Council whose meeting was presided over by the President Muhammad Buhari, would realize at the end of the day that they only went to the meeting to drink. Multiple security sources yesterday revealed that there is credible intelligence that the bandits get their arms and ammunition by airdrop. The fact that Zamfara State is landlocked supports the intelligence, declaring the state a no-fly zone is intended to cut off the bandits' arms supply chain, while the troops move in to flush them out. The decision was purely for security and has nothing to do with politics. It was taken to check the growing security problems in the, in the state and region from escalating further. The country is in a very precarious position at this moment and every intelligence that can help to pull it back from the brink will be followed through. Although Zamfara State has no airports, helicopters routinely fly into the state on a high number. Zamfara is locked by five states and Niger, Rep Niger Republic to the north. The states surrounding Zamfara are Katsina, Kaduna, Niger, Kebi and Shokoto out of which it was carved out in 1996. Investigation also revealed that activities of wealthy and influential mining licenses also led to the no-fly zone. It is believed that the action will lead to the cut of supplies to bandit sales in the forest by, the, by 70 to 90 percent. Top licensees and illegal gold miners were said to be involved in bitter guerrilla war in the state. The affected gold merchants include a firm belonging to a former head of state, ex-governor, ex-ministers, and influential businessmen. The rivalry led to the formation of banditry clusters by license, licensees and illegal miners. Some of the competing groups and licensees have been using helicopters for supplies to their armed wings. Some foreign nationals, including Chinese and South Africans, have also been implicated in the gold war in the state. A top military source who spoke in confidence said the intelligence at the disposal of the federal government on grave security breaches in Zamfara State is overwhelming. At the center of banditry in Zamfara State is the immense gold resources in the state Reports have confirmed that both legal and illegal miners have been competing for rich gold mines and most of them 
have banditry groups to protect their interest. An intelligence report confirmed that banditry is more pronounced in local government areas with gold in abundance, including Maru Council. This proliferation of small arms and weapons in Zamfara, often brought by air by these gold businessmen. In fact, some of the abducted 279 pupils of the government girls' secondary school, Jangebe, said they saw big men in exotic cars who came to the forest in the night to meet with the bandits. The only credible alternative is to restrict air movement to Zamfara State to cut supplies to bandits and checkmate those bankrolling them. The military, the police, the security agencies will use the no-fly zone timeline to take stock and re-strategize re to manage mandate given to them to rid the forest of bandits. Rejecting the decision, Governor Matawale, while hosting chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi, in Gosu on Wednesday, said if they decided to take such action, let them go ahead. I am not afraid of anybody, and the problem of insecurity in the state predates my administration. Nigerians are waiting to see the outcome of the Security Council resolution to see if these bandits would be crushed. If the federal government fails to crush them after this resolution, then Nigerians will understand that they only sat and served themselves tea and nothing more. Well, Governor Matawali, is, uh, can we say he's protecting uh, the interest of um, the, the Zamfara State's uh, the people? Well, we cannot say uh, who is guilty and who is not right now because the situation of things in this country cannot even, we cannot point a finger to a particular person saying this person is the culprit who have been doing this and this other person is not guilty and this person is guilty. We really do not know exactly who have been doing all of this, but we just hope that really soon that the government would understand and know that the people of Nigeria really need peace and really want all of this to really stop at the end of the day. But as it is, the government's uh, just uh, intention is to cut off uh, the bandits' arm supply chain while the troops uh, are being flushed out by uh, the security agencies. Well, that is their intention, like they said. But, you know, Matawale is not agreeing, but he's also saying that, well, at the end, let's see if this is going to be beneficial to everyone. But he still says he does not agree with what the government is doing. So, my people, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say about this, please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.